number three. All right, so we'll start with the basic graph. The basic graph is y equal to a times x plus q. Okay, that's the basic graph of time. Now, this one here, it is unique. Okay, the graph of time is unique. Right? So, let me just do a table of values quickly. I'll do it here at the top. Oh, sorry, sorry, don't, don't put the Q. Sorry, don't put the Q, don't put the, the A. Please don't put that, because we are talking about the basic graph. I'll talk about the general equation maybe in the next lesson. So it's Y equal to tan X. That's the one that I'm talking about. So now this one, uh, the step has to be 45 degrees, okay, because its period is 180 degrees. So when you sketch it, it will be 0 degrees there, then you have got 45, then 90, 135, 180, and then 180, 225, 270, uh, my space is too small. All right, let me start a fresh. So the space is small. Zero, forty-five, ninety, one thirty-five, one eighty, two two five, then two seventy, three fifteen, and then three sixty. Okay. Now, turn zero. Is zero. Tan 45 is 1, tan 90 is undefined. Okay, so here, okay, just allow me to write it as undefined. Right, tan 135 that's negative 1, and tan 180 should give me a 0. Right, tan 225 that's a 1. Tan 270, that's undefined. And then tan 315, that should be negative 1. Tan 360, that should be 0. Right. In your case, you can use your calculator and your start will be 0 degrees, your end will be 360, and then your step will be 45 degrees. Okay? Okay. Well, my calibration is not perfect. I forgot to put 225 there. Eh? For the month, 225. Alright. The graph of time has got what are called asymptotes. I, I know this is a new thing now, but I'm going to define what an asymptote is. So the first asymptote is just a straight line, which is drawn using dashes. So you draw it like this, 
called it an asymptote. And the second one is at 270. Then the shape, if I call, say, this point here, if I call it x equal to y equal to 1, and that one minus 1, then maybe minus 2 there, and then that one 2. So my graph will pass through this point where it was 45, then 135, where it was minus 1, somewhere there, then 225, that's again where we put 1, and then 315 where we put minus 1. But don't worry, I'm going to define what asymptotes are. So when you sketch it now, the shape is not like that with the graph of sine and cos. So it has got curves. So it looks like this. Starting from zero degree. So it goes like this. Right. This first curve here, it doesn't touch that asymptote. Right? The next one. So it goes like that. You can put some arrows pointing in that direction. Then the last one to go like. So that's the shape of the graph of time. Okay? This is the reason why I said it's very unique. It's not like the, the, the graph of, uh, of sine and cos. Right? Here I've only sketched between 0 and 360. Right? Now, the period is not 360. The, the period of a time graph is the distance in degrees between asymptotes. Okay? Like I'm going to define an asymptote before the lesson ends. So this is an asymptote. That's an asymptote. The distance between the two asymptotes in degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So, the properties. Okay, let's start with amplitude first. The amplitude is undefined. Or we can say no amplitude. It's not like sine and cosine. Okay? We can't determine a minimum here in the maximum value. Right? Because when you are sketching the curve, you start right down from minus infinity up to positive infinity. So we don't have a specific value which is a minimum or a maximum. Therefore, the amplitude is undefined. The period is always equal to 180 degrees. Okay? It is the distance in degrees uh, between asymptotes. <coughs> right? Then the domain for this graph that I drew, which is the basic graph, we drew it from x equal to 0 up to 360 degrees. But x is not equal to 90 degrees and x is not equal to 270 degrees. Okay, your calculator, if you put tan 90, you say at mid error, tan 270. Can you try it? Try it now. What is tan 90? What is tan 90? Undefined. Okay, tan 270 is also what is undefined. So our domain of x is an element we are starting from 0 degrees up to 360 degrees, right? But we have to give a restriction that x is not equal to 90 degrees or x is not equal to 270 degrees, right? Okay, just allow me to talk about the range, then we can go. The range, please take note, there are restrictions for the domain of, of the time graph. X is not equal to 90 degrees, X is not equal to 270. So range, 
to be y is an element of real numbers. Okay? We are starting from negative infinity up to positive infinity. Therefore, we can write this y as an element of real numbers. Right, so I'm going to stop here for today.